in a greedy that is a random action is a greedy action therefore the probability or that is a that therefore the total probability of selection of an action that is greedy is one uh, is one minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod s or we can write these two things as so uh, as the probability of selection of random action that is the probability assigned to the random action is epsilon over mod s and probability assigned to greedy action is 1 minus epsilon and this can be also written as probability of selection of non greedy action that is all actions except the greedy action is epsilon over mod s and now the probability of selection of greedy action becomes 1 minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod s so both uh, so writing both ways are correct because in random action there is a possibility that one of the action selected is a greedy action therefore the total probability becomes 1 minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod as or we can make explicit the greedy and non greedy actions and we can separate these two and we can write for non greedy action uh, it is a probability epsilon over mod as and for greedy it is 1 minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod as as I already mentioned, uh, they are example of absence of policies defined as policies for which probability of selection of each state action pair uh, is is greater than or equal to epsilon over mod s. Here we can see that uh, probability of selection of every action is at least greater than epsilon over mod s. So for any epsilon of policy pi, any epsilon greedy policy with respect to q pi is guaranteed to be better than or equal to pi so that is any policy that is epsilon greedy with respect to the action value function for the policy pi which is epsilon soft is guaranteed to be better than or equal to the epsilon soft policy so here is a proof of this statement so this expression denotes that in a state s you are selecting an action according to the policy pi dash your pi is a epsilon soft policy and your pi dash is epsilon greedy policy so in a state s selecting an action according to the epsilon greedy policy and you make a transition to next state and then you select actions according to the policy pi so this expression can be decomposed in this form and if you do not remember how i decompose this into this form you just go to previous lecture lecture number second and third in the reinforcement channel this is basically multiplying each of the action with its probability of occurrence or the probability of selection so this can be decomposed in this form and uh, we already know that pi dash is just 1 minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod s if action is optimal that is greedy action and epsilon over mod s if, ex uh, if action is not an optimal action so basically this expression can be decomposed in this form this uh, q pi s comma pi dash s comma i is 1 minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod s when action is greedy action and it is epsilon over mod s when action is not a greedy action okay here we are considering summation over all actions that is greedy action plus all non greedy actions and here may and here we are making this explicit by writing the probability of occurrence of greedy action and the probability of occurrence of non greedy actions okay so now we can combine these two terms this term with this term okay and now it becomes basically 1 minus epsilon times max over a q pi s comma a this is written separately and now we are clubbing these two terms this with this So here we are summing over all action except the greedy action and after incorporating the greedy action we can write it in this form that is 1 minus epsilon o over 1 minus epsilon times max a q, q pi s comma a plus epsilon over mod a summation of all a q pi s comma a. So this is again according to a definition of epsilon greedy policy that is with probability 1 minus epsilon it is selecting a greedy action and with probability epsilon over mod as it is selecting an action at random 
so now we can write this term in this form that is uh, this can be written uh, we are taking this one minus epsilon out and we are dividing this whole expression by one minus epsilon and now we are writing it pi s comma a minus epsilon over mod a s times q pi s comma a because for non greedy actions this pi s comma a is basically epsilon over mod a s so all terms for non greedy actions will cancel out because the numerator is zero and when the action is greedy it is basically one minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod a s minus epsilon over mod a s so epsilon over mod a s gets cancelled out and we are left with one minus epsilon so this term is basically a weighted average with non negative weights and we can see this will sum to one and therefore this term is always less than equal to this term okay so here therefore we are using this greater than equal to sign that is this term is always greater than equal to this term and this expression is exactly equal to this expression that is this term is already here and now we are cancelling this one mass epsilon and this term can be can be decomposed in this form so here these both terms will be cancelled out and finally we get this expression okay so that is q pi s comma pi dash s comma a is greater than equal to summation over all a pi of s comma a q pi s comma a because this term is this expression is greater than equal to this expression and these expressions are exactly equal to this expression so basically all these are at least less than or equal to this expression so finally we get that q pi s comma pi dash s comma a is at least greater than or equal to this expression and this is nothing but the state value function for a policy pi so in previous lecture we already derived that this relation denotes that the pi dash is an improvement over the policy pi so we have provided proof of this statement that is epsilon greedy policy with respect to q of pi for a policy pi that is epsilon soft is it is guaranteed to be better than or equal to the policy pi so now here is a complete algorithm on policy monte carlo control algorithm so now we'll consider the on policy monte carlo algorithm and uh, here we will eliminate both the assumptions that is assumption of infinite episodes for evaluation step by using the concept of value iteration and gpi and we will also eliminate the assumption of exploring starts by using and epsilon soft policy instead of the assumption of exploring starts so the first step in this algorithm is again the initialization step as we are familiar with all these steps and the only difference between the monte carlo es and this is that the policy pi is an epsilon soft policy so in the initialization step um, according to monte carlo es algorithm we are doing the same thing that is we are initializing an arbitrary action value function an empty list of returns for each state and action pair s and a and uh, the policy pi which is an arbitrary epsilon soft policy and now we once the initialization has been done we get into this loop ideally we repeat this loop forever and the first step in this loop is to generate an episode using the policy pi once this episode ends we calculate each state and action pair that has occurred in this episode and for each state action pair we do this assign the return following the first occurrence of state action pair s and a to r that is for each state and action pair s and a we calculate the return following the first time that state action pair was visited in this episode and we assign this value to r r has a value of return following the first occurrence of state action pair s and a we do this for each and every state action pair and we append r to returns of s and a that is r is appended to the list of returns for that state action pair s and a and now we take the average of all the returns in this list and assign it to the action value function that is q pi 
that is q s comma a has a value of average of returns of s comma a okay so this second step